This is a how-to guide on how to set up and install your MCG-101, the latest intelligent terminal from Global Satellite Engineering. First, your MCG-101 terminal has an Ethernet and telephone jack in the front and a USB. And on the rear, there is, a, starting off with GPS, two Wi-Fi, the Iridium antenna connector, DC power, and a SIM card slot. We'll start by installing an Iridium standard SIM card. The slot is a uh, push to insert and eject connector so when we push it in it will snap into place when it's installed it will extend slightly from the rear of the case next we'll install a GPS antenna the connector for the GPS antenna is a standard SMA it does provide power to a built-in LNA in the GPS antenna if your GPS antenna supports it next we'll install the Wi-Fi antennas. The MCG-101 does come with two Wi-Fi antennas. It supports 300 megabit Wi-Fi. These are reverse polarity SMA connectors, so you can't accidentally put the Wi-Fi antennas onto the wrong connector. Lastly, we'll install an Iridium antenna, which we have quite a few options available. There's a flat antenna that you can install for uh, aircraft or vehicles. There's uh, quite a variety of, of flat patch antennas. This one has a cable built into it. Uh, but here, since we're inside of a building, we'll use a antenna that we have installed in the building. Lastly, on the rear, we will connect power. There's a DC power connector that is included with the MCG-101. It runs off of 12 volts at 1.5 amps or greater. And lastly, we'll connect a telephone. This is a standard analog telephone. Any uh, standard analog telephone will do. And a quick review of the LEDs on the front of the unit. We can see that the top blue LED is power. The center LED is the Iridium signal status. And the last connector is the Ethernet activity LED. Once we have connected to the Iridium network, the Iridium LED will turn solid orange, which, it, which indicates that you can send and receive email, SMS, and make and receive phone calls. And that is how you set up your MCG-101.